Today I'm here with Charlene and we are going to check out the biggest pasar malam of the year the Ramadan Bazaar! <laughs> the bazaar will be open from 26th of May to the 24th of June. They have over a thousand different stores selling traditional food items, clothing, toys and we are going to go check out what is good to eat. The first store that we went to was what? We got a handsome bug for $8 which is a rainbow bagel with a beef patty and cheese and a side of fries. So normally they sell it for $20 plus plus at their stores but at this bazaar they only sell it for $8 and it's pretty much the same thing except they didn't have the turkey bacon that they had in their stores. The bagel itself was super thick and super buttery and the meat patty was super juicy. The fries was average, it wasn't even crisp up. I would give it like a 8.5 and for drinks we got Bucket Gangster there was three different types that you can choose and we got Mud Rape which is $8 and it's ice cream soda with lemongrass and sour plum <laughs> It's so massive you can feed a bucket load of people guys <laughs> I really do think so I would rate it like an 8 out of 10 the next thing we tried was the stall right next to it, which is called JC Creative Food. The thing they specialized in was their durian bombs and their jackfruit bombs. It had their mochi bite. Okay, and then the outside is obviously like very crunchy. Durian one, it was very creamy. If you love durian, you'll confirm love this. It's deep fried durian, I don't know what else to say. The durian better. I'll give the durian like a 7.5. But I personally prefer the jackfruit. Jackfruit is like a bit sweeter and the jackfruit I give like an 8. So we went over the overhead bridge to the other side of the bazaar and we went to Rucklet Factory. So we got the Rucklet set which is $12. Ingredients themselves are quite simple. You have baby pan fried potatoes and gourmet chicken sausages with Rucklet cheese melted and then drizzled on top. I wouldn't call it a drizzle, smothered with the Rucklet cheese. For certain types of cheese, it's slightly more bitter and it's slightly stronger. I would rate it like a 7.5 just because you don't really find raclette cheeses in Pasar Malam that much. Don't have to pay for GST and stuff so value-wise, it's definitely there. The raclette factory actually sold drinks as well. All the bottles were $6 each and we got the Soldier's Pride which is the green sparkly one. So inside Soldier's Pride, they have pandan, apple and lychee. It like surprised me because it looks so thick but it's actually quite refreshing and you can definitely taste the pandan. It also got first love which is the baby blue bandong. I personally would have preferred the soldier's pride just because it was more refreshing when you're like surrounded by a lot of people. I would rate them like a 7. It's like cool but like not too cool. <laughs> so after we were done with the Reclet factory, we walked further down to Loco Loco where we got a cup of chili crab churros for $6. They claim that their chili crab sauce is made with legit crab meat. I didn't really taste a lot of the crab meat. I think a lot of us thought it was gonna be weird because churros are usually sweet. But it went surprisingly well. Manto substitution. Churros were still a bit dense. But for the chili crab sauce itself, I think all of us were quite impressed. I would rate it a 6. Honestly, I'd rather just have sweet churros. The last savory item that we had, we pokerito, which is stall number 48. What are pokeritos? Kind of like a pokey bowl inside a burrito, but it just looked like sushi to me. So we got the oriental and the spicy pokerito. Pretty much have the same kind of ingredient. Wakami seaweed, oriental scallop, mussels, idamame, and taco. Octopus, not taco. So one thing that was cool about it is that they actually coated with whatever flavoured snack that you decided to get. The oriental was actually coated with a chicken flavoured snack and the spicy pokerito was coated with spicy Cheetos. I would definitely recommend the oriental one. I'll rate it like a 7.5. Pricey for its size. More like quality over quantity. Time for us to get dessert. First sweet thing we tried, take a bite which is stall number 34 and got a cup of deep fried Oreos. When we first bit into it, it was amazing. Outside was crispy. The 
inside was warm, soft. Highly recommend. I rate it like an 8. So another thing we tried from Take A Bite was moss dip, which was not very special. Kind of thing that I could make at home myself. We went to the next store, Fairy Floss. We decided to get a Rainbow Planet ice cream bun for $8. Essentially, blue colored cookies and cream ice cream in a warm rainbow bun. This one was tough to eat. It was like super unglam. All the different colors, but they don't actually taste anything special. I rate it a 3, just because you can maybe take a photo of that and pretend you're hipster but yeah. At the same store, they sold a candy floss burrito and it tastes exactly like the way I described it. It's crepes with fairy floss. No, it was like so dry, so angry because it's $8. You can buy four things from Daiso. You rate it a three. One for just existing, then you times that by three. Okay, I'm done, I'm done. Next thing we tried was like a watermelon volcano. Smoothie itself is watermelon, a lot of ice and condensed milk. I would rate it 7.5. I thought it was pretty good. So right next to where they were selling the watermelon volcano, they were selling rainbow soft serve as well. But unfortunately, the machine wasn't running at that point in time. I actually decided to see how true it was for myself. And then we ran away. So the last dessert place was Istanbul Express. So the place basically sells kebabs. You're like, huh, what dessert did you get at a kebab place? We got a chocolate kebab. So he shaved it into like the typical wrap. The wraps, the chocolate wraps. <laughs> don't buy it, don't so buy it. Awesome. It was more like compound chocolate in like a lot of just plain dry wraps. Okay, okay, this is the disclaimer. Istanbul Express, it's a <laughs> great flavor. kebab. Place. We tried one of their savory kebabs. That was nice. It was juicy and all that. The ratio was fine. <laughs> I think it's definitely worth checking out. There's so many choices to choose from, so you gotta go in with a game plan. You gotta know what is good to eat and what you should totally avoid. So this is our yes and no list. On top of the yes list, I would definitely go back for the fried Oreos. The handsome bird. That was really good and very worth it. So good. What about drinks, huh? <gasps> Watermelon volcano was my favorite. On the no list, number one for me, the fairy floss crepe. Stop buying unicorn flavor things. <laughs> Hashtag save the unicorn. Save Stop. the unicorn. It's not even worth it. It don't even taste that good. Okay. I would definitely not go back for the chocolate kebab. Okay, and the one, the one special mention, the healthier choice would be bokeri. They also have normal kind of stuff, okay? You could always just go to the bazaar and get like a Ramly burger that would taste freaking amazing. This is like the unconventional guide to the hipster food that is yeah. available at the bazaar. So thanks for watching another episode. For more, you can check out over there. And in the meantime, remember to like, share, subscribe! subscribe. Oh, wow, we usually have three people. Like yeah, that's why. Oh.